All right, number two, uh, we want to know which of these sets can be placed in a one-to-one -one correspondence, which means uh, you want to be looking at two different sets, and they need to have the same number of elements. If they have the same number of elements, then we can pair them up one from uh, one set and one from the other set so that all of them are paired. So that's what one-to-one -one means. So in A, we have the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which has five elements. And then we have the set M, N, O, A, T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so both these sets have five elements, which means I could pair one from this set to one from the second set. So this one does have a one-to-one -one correspondence. All right, B, we have uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, there's five of them. Uh, they're counted by five. And then we have the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? So there's six and we have five. So they don't have the same number of elements. They do not have a one-to-one -one correspondence. All right, C, <clears throat> says T so when you see this notation these curly brackets with a letter and then a description uh, this is red when you see this curly bracket um, the set of all Okay, so the set of all, and then the element t's, so whatever variable you have, the set of all t's, and we're just using t as a variable to represent something. So the set of all t's, and then this vertical line right here is read such that. Okay, so we're trying to describe a set. The set of all variables t such that, and then the following property holds. Okay, <clears throat> so we're looking for the set of all t's such that t is a letter in the word can. Okay, so this set would be empty. It would have nothing in it because there is not a t in the word can. So this set has no elements and this set has four um, so this is not a one-to-one -one correspondence 